Hello, and thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm excited for this video. It's an interesting concept. Why European trucks? I mean, it's a surprising thing. Like, why European trucks have up to 770 horsepower and the US trucks don't, apparently. I mean, I guess this was downloaded by a bunch of salty Americans. My, my Bronco could have... I pulled, I pulled a European truck out of the river the other day with my Bronco. It was spinning its wheels in three inches of water. <laughs> um, I don't know. But it is kind of surprising. Like, I would have figured here in America, with less regulations generally about um, emissions and stuff and vehicles, I would have thought we just made ridiculously powerful trucks. So, apparently the Europeans have more powerful ones. I need to know how that is. Have you ever wondered why trucks in the US seem to have smaller engines that are less powerful than the ones in Europe? After all, no, because I didn't even know that. While most things do seem to be bigger in the US than in most places in the world, right? <laughs> So how is it that engines end what up, I thought. up being smaller? While the engines in the US seem to have 605 horsepower capacity and 2,050 pound-feet of torque as their maximum, European engines have 750 and 770 HP engines. That thing is freaking ridiculous. I'm looking forward to looking at the comments, I must say, after this video, because this is a very controversial video. <laughs> With up to 3,700 pound-feet of torque, Wondering why that is? Damn. Well, there are several reasons why the engines in Europe are somewhat larger than the ones you find in the US. Despite the trucks in America being much larger in size than their European counterparts. Could it just be the whim of the manufacturers in each region, or are there external factors such as landscape or the weight of the goods being hauled? So let's dive in and find out why- Oh, I see, like the landscape calls for a, a bigger truck. Why European trucks have way more powerful engines than American ones. <laughs> Before we begin, let's make it clear that trucks don't even need that much horsepower. It's mainly the amount of torque that an engine can generate that helps the truck haul all that load for thousands of miles. As long as the engine's okay. crankshaft keeps churning, more torque will be produced, more force will be applied, and the truck will be able to perform more work. Mind you though, the value of torque is measured in newton meters in Europe and in pound feet in the United States. Mm -hmm. Another factor you might want to look at and is the landscape of geographical features. I had never heard of a newton meter. Features of the US and Europe. It might not surprise you to learn that the roads in Europe and the US differ quite a lot. However, it will come as a surprise that the US terrain has a lot of flat surfaces. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are many hills That's what and I was assuming. mountains in the United States, but the wide and smooth roads along interstate highways are flat and easy to maneuver as truckers haul their loads across the country. And very, very long. This doesn't go to say that their terrains are better than Europe, but it definitely does make driving easier. On the contrary, you get into you probably get into less tricky situations here in America if you're going on a real long trip. Trey, roads across most of Europe can be more challenging. Many roads in Europe branch out into smaller roads. Others are hilly and have very sharp inclines, which means you'll have to change gears and speeds quite often when driving. These sharp changes in elevation. Considering you're going through all the different countries and stuff with different kind of materials that the roads are made out of, different levels of quality and stuff. I could see how the European trucks have to be prepared for anything. ...within just a few hundred meters can also be one of the reasons why European manufacturers produce engines with more torque and more horsepower capacity than those that we come across in the US. Yet another defining factor for the engine power difference could be the difference in weight being hauled in the US and Europe. In the United States, more? there appears to be little need for a powerful engine because not only are the roads flat, but the federal weight limit that a single truck can carry in the United States caps at 80 tons. So you can't have more than that set limit goods on your truck at once. And believe it or not, an engine with 2,500 Newton meters- How much can you guys carry over there? Here's of torque can handle that quite easily with absolutely no strain or compromise in its performance. On the contrary, okay. the maximum weight limit varies within the EU. While there isn't one set number, it can be anywhere from 60 to 90 to 104 tons, depending on the type of truck or Damn, the axles it might more. have. So for weights above 80 tons, you'd need an engine with a higher torque than 2,500 Newton meters. The torque needed for American trucks 
Couple this with the hilly roads of Europe and it becomes a tad bit more apparent why the engines in Europe are more powerful than those in the US. As such, the major manufacturers of engines in the US trucking market include Mack, Detroit Cummings, and Pack. But just the way the trucks are built with the American semis, that huge area up front for just the engine, I would have thought they're more powerful. Car. And the strongest engine you'd find in the US right now is the Detroit DD15, a 14.8 liter engine that has the capacity to generate 1,550 to 1,750 pound feet of torque and 400 to 505 horsepower. That being said, you'd find that many, if not most, of the engines in the US are 12 to 15 liter engines that generate 400 to 550 horsepower. In contrast, the European engine manufacturers, which include Mercedes, MAN, DAF, Renault, Volvo, Iveco, and perhaps more popularly known, Scania, have been known never heard of it to make more powerful engines with horsepower ranging between 440 and 640 HP, with the most powerful ones being produced by Volvo and Scania. The Volvo mm. D16K, which is known as the world's strongest 6-liter engine, produces 750 horsepower and 3550 newton meters worth of torque. While the Scania this thing must be a brick. Like that thing must weigh more than my car. V8, which is even just the engine, bigger and more powerful than the Volvo D16K, has a 770 horsepower capacity and 3,700 newtons meters worth of torque. <laughs> that being said, it's interesting to note that some of these American and European manufacturers actually work together. For example, Volvo, Mac, and Scania share their engine parts and information concerning technology with one another. So you could say that while these engines may differ in power, they might not be that different after all when it comes to how they've been built. With Can that, you? it's clear that there are several factors leading up to the engines in Europe being more powerful. In <laughs> fact, the more you look into it, the more justified it seems that European engines are stronger than American ones. And until the weight <laughs> restrictions of the landscape of the US changes, which is highly unlikely, this will probably stay this way. Well, that's a wrap for this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs> okay, it seemed like a fine video to me. I'm surprised it's disliked this much. I mean, I need to see why. 80,000 pounds, not tons. Oh, I should have caught that. 80,000 tons. <laughs> Imagine, it'd be like 40,000 cars being pulled on a semi. You mixed up the weight allowed on E-Road. We can normally have 40 MT total what is mt wrong volvo and scania don't share anything with one another they're competitors <laughs> oh god <laughs> you're tearing this video apart very poorly researched a lot of details are wrong apologies it's eighty thousand pounds which is 40 tons yeah <laughs> A European truck, eighty eight thousand pounds. Okay, so it still is more in Europe. This guy got a lot of specifics wrong, it seems like, but overall, <laughs> the, the overall message is true that European trucks can haul more weight the terrain is can be more difficult and so the trucks are more powerful oh man <laughs> this is pure bs wow okay well i might have to watch another video <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. Um, very interesting. I'm surprised I didn't catch. He said 80,000 tons. That's just ridiculous. Um, overall though, the message seems accurate that the engines are more powerful and that does make sense. And that's a surprising fact I did not know. I might have to watch another video on, on more accurate details though. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Subscribe if you want to. Shout out to Go Truck Yourself, by the way.
He's getting a lot of hate, but I appreciate the video. <laughs> Go subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.